Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Vinjadas Academy. So friends, from the previous videos, we have been learning about the press working terminology. In the last video, we have seen the different parts which is used in a die. So basically friends, we have understood the different different parts, different terminology in press working. Now friends, in order to manufacture a product, let's say suppose this particular product. Now this product is having a complex shape. It is made up of the sheet metal, but it is having a complex shape, complex geometry. Now, in order to manufacture this product, we need to carry out the series of operation. So friends, a simple die won't be suitable here to manufacture this. We need, we need to have a different, different dies. So in order to manufacture a complex part like this, there has to be different categories of the die that is the advanced one we need to work on. So by considering my final product, we need to design the die. So there are five different types of the dies. Simple die, compound die, combination, progressive and transfer die. So all of these dies we are going to learn, we are going to cover in our today's video. So friends, if you are new over here on my educational channel, Genius Academy, Kindly subscribe because ultimately your subscription motivates me to make more of such educational videos. So please subscribe and it is free of cost as well. So begin with the first one simple die. So as you can see here, this is a simple die having a punch and a die cavity. Okay, over here, we can carry out one operation per stroke. Over here, if uh, we want to carry out punching operation, blanking operation, drawing operation, we can carry out that. So it is one operation, simple die. So basically friends, simple die is an excellent option. If you're looking for a tool that can handle blanking and piercing jobs, punching, blanking, piercing, simple die. You can go with the simple die. So this particular simple die consists of a punch, a die and a stripper plate. Stripper plate holds the metal sheet and punch cuts the hole and removes the blank. The main downside of a simple die it is less efficient and it is not suitable for the mass production or the larger applications. If your final product is very simple, then you can go with the simple die that is for the forming operation or else punching operation. Moving ahead next is nothing but the compound die. So when we talk about the compound die as the name itself for more demanding, more complex blanking and piercing application, a compound die is very suitable and it can do my job in a faster rate. So rather than handling just one operation at a time, the compound die can simultaneously complete the blanking and piercing processes. So friends over here, this washer can be made at each stroke over here this is a compound die this is the this portion is the blanking punch at both the sides this is my stripper plate it acts as a punch as well so this compound die can make these washers at each stroke so basically friends compound die is less useful for bending and forming operation as it tend to require a higher level of force. It is more cost effective option than the simple die. So whenever it comes to mass production, we can go with the compound die. Whenever we, we want to join two different operations like cutting in a cutting operations, we can, you know, make a compound of blanking or as the punching operation. So this is a compound die. Moving ahead next is nothing but the combination die. Over here friends, it is very very similar to that of the compound die in terms of the design and efficiency, but it can handle more than one operation at once, which allows it to deliver faster, more reliable result. A combination die is well suitable for the cutting and shaping applications, means cutting and forming operations. Over here friends, we can carry out the drawing and blanking operations. So blanking, 
comes under cutting whereas drawing comes under forming operation in previous compound die compound die was well suitable only for the two different cutting operations this combination die is suitable for the drawing and cutting operation it means forming and cutting operation so friends over here you can see this is a compound die manufacturing so over here this is the compound die producing the washers at one stroke only so that gives the higher production rate now this uh, compound and combination dies it is versatile tool can play a role in all types of the metal working applications from mining equipment to manufacturing to electronics apply appliances development it plays a very very important role so that was about combination die next is nothing but the progressive dies progressive dies so progressive is very very similar to a series whenever there is a series of the operations or the series of actions there is the word related to the progressive die over your friends in this particular progressive die a sheet metal a blank comes from this portion now this progressive dies is having a different different series of workstation all the different dies are arranged over your friends this is one die another die another die these dies are arranged in a series okay as as per the operation in order to get the final product over here so it is a very very widely used in the manufacturing process in a production process for various industrial parts including electronics and automotive sectors friends whenever you visit an automotive industry the they having a line layout which is suitable for the mass production and where you can see this particular progressive dies now a sheet metal will be coming from this side carrying the different different series of op operation here the cutting operation takes place here the blanking operation takes place here the another forming operation takes place so all these operations are carried out on a strip of a sheet metal so this is known as the progressive dies basically this particular process it is a kind of a die stamping press and at the last stage we got the final desired product over your friends you can see this is the progressive die stamping metal strip so you know uh, this strip fades from this side and having this the different different series of operations punching operation followed by blanking operation different different operations so that was about the progressive die and the last one is the transfer dies or we can call it as a transfer press now it is very similar to that of the progressive die except over here this transfer dies is having a mechanism to transfer the product to the next consecutive workstation so transfer dies are the specialized tools used in a metal stamping process to create a complex metal parts typically used in conjunction with the transfer presses so over here the transfer presses are there the transfer die consists of a multiple stations each of which performs a specific operation on a metal as it progresses through the die so over here the stations are connected by the transfer system so over here friends in the in this uh, transfer dies there is a transfer system that moves the metal blank or part from one station to another station so each station contains the die that shapes the metal into the desired form there are n number of the operations we can carry it out from piercing cutting forming bending different operation we can carry it out in this transfer dies and it is well suitable for the mass production so over your friends you can see this is a thin strip of the blank okay after the first operation it moves into this uh, next consecutive die shape then it moves to the another consecutive die shapes with the help of the transfer dies over your friends you can see there are the transfer mechanism is there my part moves from one station to another station having the different different operations that is getting carried out in order to get the final product over your friends you can see this is the drawing and the punching operation it is getting carried out on a thin strip of the metal workpiece so this is the 
perfect example of the transfer die so friends that was all about the different types of dies i hope i have clarified all the different types of dies to you if you having any queries any questions please feel free to comment and please subscribe to my educational channel junas academy